Hey, welcome back. We're in Exodus chapter 2, verses 15 to 17 today. Listen up. When Pharaoh heard of this matter, he tried to kill Moses, but Moses fled from the presence of Pharaoh and settled in the land of Midian, and he sat down by a well. Now the priest of Midian had seven daughters, and they came to draw water and filled the troughs to water their father's flock. Then the shepherds came and drove them away, but Moses stood up and helped them and watered their flock. Okay, so the national policy was to oppress the Hebrews, and when Pharaoh finds out what's happened, you know, that Moses has killed one of their, perhaps one of their uh, managers or slave drivers or whatever they were called, Moses needs to die. So out goes the word, we're going to kill Moses. Well, Moses has already uh, fled out into the wilderness, and he recognized it's a better time to be somewhere else. So here's Moses now. He was perhaps thinking of delivering his people, but here he is. He's driven out into wilderness exile, and he's, he's out alone there out in the desert, and he sits down by this well, and he's probably feeling a little bit low. Things haven't gone just quite exactly according to plan, and here he is sitting on a rock in the middle of nowhere, and the Hebrews are still oppressed. So soon, uh, seven young women come with a flock, and they draw water, and they're going to water their sheep. But here come some other guys, and they, they must have waited for the ladies to draw water. So that was work they wouldn't have to do. And then they bring in their stuff, and now they're just taking things over. And uh, it's, it's, it's unjust. It's unfair. It's not right. And so it says here that Moses stands up, and he helps the, the, the women. He helps them, and don't know how many shepherds there were. We just know that Moses is one guy. And, and yet Moses, you know, he sees an injustice happening, and what does he do? He springs into action. Uh, this really is kind of like what he did before. He just, he's, he's ready, though. When he, he's sensitive to injustice, he doesn't like it, he's going to stand up and do something. He's got some of that leadership potential that seems like it's so lacking today. I don't know what it is with our generation. Did we all forget to eat our Wheaties? I mean, what is it? But there's so few real leaders in God's church anymore Everybody just goes along with the pattern, and we all just kind of go along with the flow. And where are the leaders? Where are the leaders? Not that we just should come and, and run over everybody, but sometimes something's wrong, and you've got to act to set it right. So let's get some leaders, somebody that will follow God and be sensitive to his leading. Anyway, Moses stands up and takes care of it. We don't really have the video. We don't really know the details. What we know is that Moses was successful, and the ladies get to water their flock. I like that Moses jumps up here and he takes, he takes action directly and he's going to do good and he puts himself even at risk. And that's part of the problem maybe in our generation too is nobody wants to take a risk. They don't, don't even want you to make a playground with a chain swing in it anymore here in America because the insurance company guys will go crazy and give you high premiums because some kid might fall off, fall off the swing. Man, a, a whole bunch of us grew up on those swings and... Uh, yeah, we did fall off a few times, but you know what? It toughens you up a little bit. It's okay. A lot of times people feel like, well, there's nothing I can really do. I guess I'll just call 911. I'll just call the authorities and, and let them solve this. And, but there is many times when there's, that will not turn out well. Or, you know, when you're the guy that's right there, why do you have to wait for some authority to come? Moses stands up and he addresses this. He just fixes it. And we need some more of that spirit today, too. Some spirit that will say, this is wrong. This is right. I'm going to stand up for what's right. I'm going to take care of it. And yeah, somebody might get unhappy. Oh, well. You know, to live is to take risks. You take a risk every time you get out of your bed. You know, maybe you'll slip in your bathtub and, and fall and crack your head. There are risks in life. What are you going to do? Are you going to just buy some kind of a plexiglass bubble and live in that? And is that life? So go out and do something. Do something for the Lord Jesus. Moses does something that helps these ladies to water their flock. Good for Moses. I want to be kind of like that, don't you? See you tomorrow morning as we'll carry on and see what happens next.